welcome back to the super shed for some more stories. This story is specially for Benjamin. Benjamin, I hope you enjoy this story. I hope everybody is staying safe and playing in their homes and their back gardens and remembering to wash their hands. Now, I think it's time for a story. I wonder which story could it be? right our story today is giraffes can't dance Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim but his knees were awfully bandy and his legs were rather thin he was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango, which was elegant and bold. The chimps did a cha-cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lion saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, all the animals laughed. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft, they said. Gerald simply froze up and he was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a klutz. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them there everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and he leapt up into the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, he cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched them quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever 
scene. How is it that you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. And that's the end of our story today. I hope you'll remember to send in all your photos of your artwork, your pictures and your drawings to supershedstories at gmail.com. More stories soon. Bye.